Hey guys, it's Vadim with MaxTech and you have no idea how excited I am because Apple just sent out invites for their October 18th event where we're expecting Apple to reveal a product that will revolutionize the entire computer industry. Yes, I'm talking about the M1X MacBook Pros that I've been waiting for since literally the day that Apple released the M1 chip in November of last year, when I realized that the M1 was the efficiency chip and not the performance focused chip. Well, in less than a week, we are getting that M1X performance chip and it is gonna blow your mind. So in this video, I'm gonna go through everything that Apple is likely to reveal at this upcoming event, as well as my predictions for the machines that will actually be released alongside this new chip. So let's get started with a look at the event invite itself. The title is simply Unleashed. This is obviously referring to Apple unleashing the M1X chip, which is gonna be the most powerful laptop chip ever made, as I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. And this is why the graphic in the invite looks like a warp drive effect flying through space, similar to something you'd see from Star Trek. And just to add some more evidence to that claim, when Apple released the M1 chip, their newsroom article back in November was literally titled Apple Unleashes M1. So the similarities are huge. Now with that said, let me go through some of the biggest leaks and rumors that back up the predictions of these M1X Macs coming next week. First off, Mark Gurman, who is the most reliable Apple leaker out there, has been saying for months that both the 14 and 16 inch M1X MacBook Pros are gonna be revealed before the end of November. And very recently, we've started to see evidence of Apple's current Intel based 16 inch MacBook Pro running out of stock at many Apple stores around the nation, which usually only happens right before the release of new models. Even better, the power adapters for MacBook Pros have begun to run out of stock as well well, pointing to Apple releasing new charging bricks for these M1X MacBook Pros, which is exactly what Apple did for the M1 iMac. On top of that, other leakers like Leaks Apple Pro and Dylan DKT have pointed to October as the month that Apple will reveal these new M1X MacBook Pros. And Ross Young, a display analyst that is extremely reliable, someone who perfectly nailed the display size for the recent iPad Mini 6 redesign, is also confident that Apple will reveal new MacBook Pros at this upcoming event. And Majin Buu shared an image of a DVT MacBook Pro unit with the chip showing up as the M1X. And those usually only show up not too long before a release because DVT stands for Design Validation Test, kind of like a quality control unit. And I myself am 100% sure that this is gonna happen. And I also believe the chip will be called the M1X, not the M2 and not the M2X. Since I literally created this t-shirt design that you guys can buy if you wanna help support this channel and you can find it in the merch shelf below. So now before I get into the other machines I expect to get released alongside the new M1X chip, I wanna dive deep into the specs and features that I'm expecting Apple to pack into the new chip itself. According to Mark Gurman, it's gonna feature a 10 core CPU layout, specifically with eight performance cores and just two efficiency cores. That's double the P cores and half the E cores compared to the M1, which shows that these chips will be focused on performance. So I estimated the performance of this new chip compared to the M1, and here is what I got. Around 15,000 multi-core points in Geekbench 5, which outperforms every single laptop chip ever made, and it even outperforms the 16-core Xeon CPU in the Mac Pro. This will essentially blow the minds of everyone in the tech industry but wait until you see the estimates for the GPU performance. Mark Gurman believes there's gonna be two versions of the chip, one with a 16 core GPU and one with a 32 core GPU. So here are the estimates that I've made for the performance of these two chips with even the base 16 core model outperforming the insanely powerful 5600M GPU in the current 16 inch MacBook Pro. And the 32 core option will outperform the very best dedicated 
5700 XT GPU in the current 27 inch iMac, which is insane for a GPU that's fully integrated into the main chip. So if you wanna see us test them out to the extreme, then subscribe right now, because as you might know, we went all out on our M1 Mac coverage last year with the most in-depth comparisons on the web. Now, apart from the CPU and the GPU, Mark Gurman claimed that it would have up to 64 gigabytes of unified memory, which is controversial since others like Luke Miani have reported that it's gonna be limited to 32 gigs. But either way, it'll be enough for almost everyone. And finally, Mark Gurman said that it's gonna come with an improved neural engine. And this is where I get into what I think the M1X chip is gonna be based on. In my opinion, I believe it's gonna be based on the five nanometer plus A15 chip that we just got in the iPhone 13 for a few different reasons. First off, since these MacBook Pros are focused on performance, it makes sense for Apple to use the latest and highest clocked cores in the M1X chip. And as we know, the A15 chip features GPU cores that are quite a bit faster than the ones in the M1. And on top of that, the new efficiency cores in the A15 are a lot faster than the old ones as well, which means that they can handle more tasks on their own without having to even turn on the performance cores for some work loads, which helps save battery life. So if Apple uses these new faster efficiency cores in the M1X, it would completely explain why Apple made the weird choice to use only two of these efficiency cores compared to the previous four, since they're gonna be more powerful than before. Now matching up to Mark Gurman's leak, the new A15 chip has a new faster neural engine, and I expect that to go directly into the M1X, alongside all the other new components like the image signal processor and the new video encoders and decoders, including the new ones that are meant for ProRes. So yeah, with all that said, the M1X chip is gonna be insane. And I personally think that this chip will blow the minds of the entire tech industry, and it's gonna put shivers down the spines of every Windows laptop company out there, essentially forcing them to switch to ARM and RISC-V based chips because of the massive battery life benefits. Now getting into the machines themselves, the M1X chip will definitely be going into both the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, as well as the high-end Mac Mini and the larger iMac. But I don't expect all of them to be revealed at this event. So before I explain what I mean, let's get into the specs and features of the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. According to Ming Shikuo and Mark Gurman, the MacBook Pro will feature a new design with a flat bottom and top, similar to what you see on Apple's latest iPads. Now, John Prosser already leaked the design of the M2 MacBook Air redesign, and I expect the M1X MacBook Pros to look very similar, just nowhere near as thin and of course, with more ports. Specifically, leaks are pointing to them getting an SDXC card slot, as well as an HDMI port and a new MagSafe connector for charging. They're also gonna be getting either three or four Thunderbolt 4 ports as well. Now, as far as the displays, many leakers and reporters agree that they're gonna be using mini LED technology, just like on Apple's 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which is gonna make watching videos and movies look so much better than before. Now, Ross Young believes that Apple is actually gonna include 120 Hertz Pro Motion technology with these new MacBook Pros, which is literally a game changer. Now, I personally found it a bit hard to believe that Apple Apple would give it 120 hertz this year, but then a Twitter user reminded me that macOS Monterey actually supports adaptive sync external displays on newer Macs. This by itself is a huge hint at Apple giving the M1X MacBook Pros 120Hz ProMotion displays, because ProMotion is essentially Apple's version of adaptive sync technology. And as we know, macOS Monterey is gonna be launching alongside the new MacBook Pros, so everything is lining up. Going further, Dylan DKT believes that the displays will have smaller bezels without a logo on the bottom, 
as well as a 1080p webcam and new charging bricks. Now, I fully agree with all of these details because I personally believe that the display will feature rounded corners like on the iPad Pro, making it easier to pack in thinner bezels. And I believe this because the latest versions of Mac OS have rounded windows on both the top and the bottom. And as far as the removal of the MacBook Pro logo on the bottom of the display, this perfectly matches up to John Prosser's leak of the redesigned MacBook Air, which also showed these new long rubber pads on the bottom, which I'm expecting to come to the M1X MacBook Pros since the current M1 iMac uses this new pad design. Now on top of that, the display resolutions have recently leaked for both the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros and they actually reveal a new, more boxy and tall aspect ratio, directly pointing to Apple getting rid of that bottom chin and logo. And as far as the new charging bricks, I expect them to be smaller than before, featuring a USB Type-C port, so you can either charge with the included MagSafe adapter cable or a regular USB Type-C cable. We should also expect the touch bar to finally get removed, and I fully agree with Luke Miani's leak about the circular backlit Touch ID button from the new Magic Keyboard to come to the M1X MacBook Pros, as well as the newer shortcut keys for Spotlight Search, Microphone, Do Not Disturb, and the Language Slash Emoji Key. Now with that said, everything that I just mentioned will be coming to both the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, so let me go through the differences I expect for each model. The 16 inch will be coming with a faster charging brick, better speakers, a better cooling system due to the larger size, and obviously a larger 100 watt hour battery pack. I'm personally expecting Apple to announce up to 20 hours of battery life for the 14 inch and 25 or 30 hours of battery life for the 16 inch, which will blow everyone away. So here is a list of specs for both the 14 and 16 inch M1X MacBook Pro models, including the specs, features, and prices for the standard models. And as you can see, I expect the 32 core GPU option to be exclusive to the 16 inch model. Now moving on to the other machines that will be getting this new chip, I personally expect the M1X Mac mini to be revealed at this event, just like I claimed two months ago and I fully expect the design to match the renders by John Prosser and Ian Zelbo. So here is a list of all the specs and features I'm expecting, including the price and chip options. Now, I personally think that the M1X 30-inch iMac is likely not coming for a few months because there's gonna be too many Macs screaming for attention if they reveal all of them at once at this event. So Apple will likely do the same thing they did with the M1 24-inch iMac and reveal it a few months later so it can be the center of the spotlight. Now finally, Dylan DKT also believes that the AirPods 3 will be revealed or released at this event, which I can totally see happening. But other than that, there's one more thing that could end up being released, and that's a Nintendo Switch style hybrid gaming console, which has actually been leaked for many months through various sources. This new handheld gaming device will also be able to connect to external TVs and monitors, and there's a chance that Apple is creating a new GPU-focused chip specifically for this new gaming device. Now, I actually went through all of the details and this video that I made almost half a year ago, but the rumors are still the same, so check it out if you want all of the details. Now, if Apple releases this new gaming device, they will also be making a huge push into gaming across all of their products, especially the new M1X MacBook Pros, with new crossplay features so you can play online with anyone who has an Apple device. But to wrap up this entire video, you guys are about to witness history with the release of the M1X MacBook Pro with the entire computing industry beginning the shift away from traditional x86 chip designs, including Intel themselves. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you're excited for this event, go ahead and click the circle above to subscribe right now, because we're gonna be covering these Macs more than any channel out there. So definitely check out one of those two videos right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.